Divine Word University graduations are always colourful events. While the green dominated yet again for another year, there were notable achievements announced. First and foremost, the PhD awarded to Bougainvillian Joseph Kim Suamaru, who produced a doctoral thesis on the social and economic impact of mobile phones in Papua New Guinea. He is the first to receive a PhD from Divine Word's Business and Informatics Department. But as the congratulatory applause died down, he told a packed audience that he couldn't have done it without DWU's reliable internet service and power supply. I would not have completed this research in ample time without 24-7 reliable ICT service. While the government struggles with various hurdles to bring down internet costs and improve energy efficiency in the country, Divine Word University has featured again prominently as a leader in student ICT services and power provision using green energy. We developed a paperless policy after three years we implemented. It is very successful. The driving force behind DWU's success is a strong team led by Father Jan Juba. Everything is done electronically. The other thing which we are trying to use as a pilot project uh, to provide electricity at night everywhere is possible, uh, not using uh, PNG power. Uh, what we are trying to use, try to use solar. Every student entering the first year of uni is given a laptop, internet access, as well as other essentials that go with it. It is in vast contrast to state-run universities. There is a lot of uh, interaction, there is a lot of communication, there is a lot of uh, the, the, the leadership through the council and the uh, president and his team, I believe are proactively managing how to effectively communicate and how to handle the student needs and their requests and, and so I think that's a very good example of how universities should be proactively managed. Scott Whitey, National MTV News.